What's up guys, I'm Osama, and today we're gonna talk about Meepo. So, we'll start with talking about spells. Uh, Earthbind, of course, the first spell. Uh, it causes the target to stay in place, like throws it in the target, and uh, like more, more, more than one target in an UA spells. Uh, so, uh, it causes the target to stay in place for two seconds and preventing them from going invisible. Okay, so, uh, but it doesn't hit uh, the units that are already invisible, but preventing them from going invisible. So that you gotta keep that in mind. The second spell is Poof. Uh, it teleports one Meepo to another Meepo Illusion or the main Meepo. So you can use, and it does a lot of damage. But there is a Shenanigans for 1.5 second. So and the radius for the damage is 375. Uh, so you gotta keep that too in mind. And it can be cast through minimap. So uh, the s and the third spell is Geo Strike. Okay, this spell like parses the spell, parses the spell immunity. So even if you have BKB, it's a passive spell, of course, that does slow and damage, and it's stackable for every Meepo. So uh, it does a damage and slow for duration of two seconds, um, and of course, it parses the spell immunity. So even if you have BKB, you get you still get the slow. And the last one is divided we stand. This is the ultimate of Meepo, so it, it can create up to five illusions, like with the main one five. So with Scepter, of course, if you have Scepter, it will create five Meepos. You'll have five Meepos, uh, four illusions, one main uh, Meepo, and uh, that's it for uh, the spells. Now let's talk about the hotkeys. Okay, so we're gonna start. So for the hotkeys for Meepo, I prefer to go with quick cast. So you put the first three levels on quick cast. Okay, you can put them all and keep them there. So quick cast is the best thing for Meepo. I have here B for blink. I really uh, like to use B for blink for quick cast. Uh, and you can use all the spells like one, two, three, four, five, six, or something like that. Uh, whatever is comfortable with you. Like you need the quick cast, okay? Because Meepo, uh, like every second counts for Meepo. So you need the quick cast to be targeted and. This one, this one is the most important thing for Meepo. Next unit, this will select the next Meepo. Uh, I'll prefer to put it tab. Uh, I'll show you. Now the quick cast, just to so you can use the spells faster. Like only if you press W, and the spell will be casted. So that's actually better and faster when you control the Meepos. Now uh, about the the tab, the next the next option that I put, the next unit tab. If you press tab will go to the next Meepo so actually that's the best option uh, you, you need like you need this option to da to get to the next Meepo faster now let me show you what I mean like if you use it very fast you can do it like this and get all Meepos faster and then you can like tab Q tab Q tab Q tab Q to use the net so that's actually very good so you need quick cast and you need the tab the next unit button you can put it whatever you like but I prefer tab and for the quick cast the items one two three a uh, Z K X C and for the a uh, spells of course Q W E like there it is but you need to put it on quick cast so remember that so if you want the uh, extra hotkeys to make them to make it better you can use these like uh, you can put here three group group three group two two and group four uh, four, so you can put these. I'll show you what you can do with them. And five and six. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is, like, oh, I forgot about something. Let me. Uh, you have to put this one on one, of course. Okay. Now one will select the main hero. Okay. And you go to the second hero and put c press control and two. Okay. Now if you wanna go to the second hero, you press two. Okay. And you this for all heroes like. Three, you press Control three. To four, you press Control four. To the, five, to the fifth one, and you press Control five. Okay. So if you want to go like the first Meepo here, okay, then you go to the second, third, fourth, and the fifth one. So that will actually make it very easy for you to jump for one another. And like if this one is very low in HP, and you know it's the second one, so you go press two. Like you can know from the uh, left uh, icons, so you could go press two or three, 
it depends on the hero that is targeted and you can get him away or let him throw a net or something like that okay but actually I prefer the tab button uh, for more like it's faster and better like you don't like you can't mistake like press 3 and you actually want it too but if you press tab you go to the second one only so that's uh, I prefer the tab one but you can do both and keep them just in case so they're both important but you probably won't be using the second one a lot okay and remember to turn this uh, one off unified order with control orders with control this uh, could uh, like create so, uh, some mistakes with, with the control and things so remember to turn it off and remember that you can press like A okay and put this one to the like if you didn't s if you don't can't see the uh, like you want you want to farm in jungle and you can't see uh, the creeps are in here so you can press A and press on this space and he will go by himself and attack them uh, eventually so remember this option like if you want to farm more more than one spot like you can put a then go to the next one a and the next one now another option that you can put is uh, like select all controlled units with caps lock I like to put a caps lock so when you like if you're controlling this one and you want to select all of them to go somewhere or something like that you press caps lock and you send them a place you want them to be sent so that's actually good just remember that okay now on to the items so the items that you can get uh, I prefer first item dragon lance okay you need to get this one because it gives 13 agility and 12 strength that's very good for Meepo uh, he needs the agility and strength especially early game so it can boost Meepo very uh, good like for every illusion uh, the strength and agility will split and it's very cheap so it's only 1900 so it's very cheap and very good and for late stages you can go ice caddy or heart or any other thing some people go either uh, ethereal blade and that's actually not bad and you need to go scepter scepter is very important even if you can't control them one extra meepo is always good so keep that in mind and there's a lot of things you can get like you can get mechanism or something like that uh, but I prefer boots of travel for like the boots uh, other things like sky of vice for the hex very good and there's a lot of uh, options you can get but uh, I prefer like the simple ones like sky of vice and maybe scepter and boots of travel with maybe scaddy and heart okay I prefer like simple things uh, so you don't get too much confused like with blink uh, and other things so I prefer it simple okay now on to the counters so these heroes you need to ban if you going to pick Meepo like Air Shaker of course Air Shaker is the like the best counter for uh, Meepo like Axe could counter him a lot but it's not very efficient uh, Air Shaker like I said the first option you have and then you uh, the second one is Lich Lich is very good against him of course with his ultimate and if he had scepter like you can it's like very hard to run away from it okay okay you need like to teleport to pace then jump and get every meeple away from each other like you need time to do it and if you're not fast enough it's going to be very difficult against him so these heroes like void can capture one or something like that there's a lot of heroes that can counter him like slark if he came from the back or something like that uh, but uh, most of the time like meepo is a very op hero if you know how to play him so even if you have against your airship or something like that you can like target him first and kill him or so or you get rid of him before he does anything with hex or any other thing that you have and you can win the game very easily if you really uh, know how to play him so it doesn't like every hero can be countered even if you counter him doesn't mean that you're gonna win so remember that so the best thing you can do with Meepo is keep what the main one on lane okay and send the others into jungle like I said A and then press okay and you'll send him to the target without even like uh, focusing something like press A and send and this will like look he will attack uh, automatically the t the creeps here but be careful like if you get a ganked or something like that you have poof so you go to another one or you can press on the mini map and W and this will make him escape if he gets ganked or something like that so keep that in mind uh, now I'm not gonna tell you about everything you're gonna do in the game that actually depends on every game and in every situation that you uh, might play against 
So, but remember that every meepo will get you experience. Like if you send one to the jungle here and one here, you'll get all the experience from here and there. So, uh, and you found one on lane, that will double your experience. Especially like, uh, you'll be level 25 very easy. As you, if you ever played with meepo, like he's gonna be very high uh, on level and the other one's very low compared to him. So that's the that's the that's why he gets a very high level because every one eluded meepo can get the experience around him, and the gold will all go to the main meepo. So that's actually a very good hero like this. And one last thing I want to say that remember that uh, meepos can't use uh, like the clones can't use arcane boots. So don't get arcane boots for meepo. Just go for travel or something like that. Uh, so. That's it for the for Meepo for Meepo guide. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, you learned something from it. Thank you for listening, guys, and goodbye. Okay, now on to the giveaway. So today's giveaway winner is uh, Ayalamo. He wanted a guide for Meepo, so we gave him one, uh, and we gave him the item. We gave him the set for Kunka and the Admiral. Admiral, uh, congratulations! And if you want more guides like this remember to put in the comment what hero you want uh, and if you want to join the giveaway remember to share like this video and subscribe thank you for listening and goodbye for more information you can visit our website partymmr.com or you can click on this video or this one and don't forget to like and subscribe